Hey guys, this is Mike Torala with Click. Thanks for joining me in the next video in the Do More with Click Tips and Tricks Edition series. In the last video, which I titled Adding the SHAP Data, video four in the Click AutoML series, we added the actual SHAP data sets to our existing ClickSense prediction app. So now we're gonna continue with actually now creating the analytics off of that data. So I'm just gonna create a new sheet and I'm gonna to go to charts and I'm gonna do it manually so you could become a little bit more familiar with the pieces that we're putting in there. So I'm gonna add a dimension for the bar. And from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for the feature field and you can see auto ML underscore feature. Okay, again, the features were selected when we created the experiment. If you remember, some of those were transport partner, weather severity, product demand, etc. And then the measure is going to be just the SHAP value average. Okay, so if I just type in SHAP value, and here we can create an average aggregate of SHAP value. Uh, we also can turn this into a percentage, etc. But this gives you an idea of the influence of these features. So what we do now is we can change the appearance. Let's go to presentation horizontal, and let's go sort and let's sort by average SHAP value. What we're looking at right now, this is a total overall showing you the features that have the most influence on the predictive outcome, positive influence on the prediction of the outcome for ship late. And you can see that feature is product demand, followed by safety stocks, number of items, six month sales, etc and other features overall, which had a negative impact, our transport partner make to order in state delivery, et cetera. But keep in mind, this doesn't mean that these particular features did not have any influence on any specific order that happened or related to other dimensions, right? For example, what we can call cohorts, which are groups with specific characteristics or properties attached to them. And then by creating additional analytics, with additional dimensions, that's when you can start to identify uh, additional influencers behind that for certain uh, orders and features like transport partner, weather severity, for example. Now, if I take this chart and I do a control C and a control V and we go to average SHAP value in our data and what we do is we just add a function called FABS, which is just absolute value. And the reason we do this is because we want to look at the magnitude of the influence without considering whether it is positive or negative. In other words, by looking at the absolute value, we'll be able to see how much impact the transport partner had on the prediction, regardless of the direction, whether it made shipping more likely to be late or not. So if transport partner is negative, it means that it decreases the likelihood of an order being late but when you take the absolute value, it shows how strongly transport partner affects the prediction, regardless of whether it reduces or increases the chance. Because the absolute value will help you understand the importance of strength of the feature in influencing the prediction without focusing whether the influence is positive or negative. So at this point, I really hope you're getting it. Actually, in fact, I know you're getting it. If you stick with me through the series, you guys are definitely going to become click auto ML experts. So to recap, this was created off of the coordinate SHAP data. Now we're going to create some additional examples in the next video utilizing the prediction SHAP data. See you there.